Hey, my name's Dan Giesing, and welcome to my CitizenCon 2016 prediction video, where I make my top three predictions for this year's CitizenCon. If you don't know what CitizenCon is, CitizenCon is CIG's yearly convention where they host an event for the community to showcase what's coming in the next few months for Star Citizen. It is usually the best of the best of what the future of Star Citizen and Squadron 42 has to offer. Personally, this is the first Citizen Con I will be attending, and I'm very excited for it. I thought it'd be fun to share with you my top three predictions for Citizen Con 2016. Prediction number one, a live action look at Star Marine. Star Marine in the past has been delayed, rumored to have been canceled, and then brought back from the dead. Star Marine is supposed to be what arena commanders for dogfighting, but for FPS. There's a lot of excitement around Star Marine, and I think CitizenCon is going to be the perfect place to have a live playable demo for Star Marine for attendees to play. We've seen a live playable demo of Star Marine before, but I think having it playable by people at CitizenCon is a possibility. We've seen this with the Sata Ball demo back at PAX East 2015, which I was fortunate enough to play. So why not have a playable Star Marine demo at CitizenCon? Star Marine is going to be included in 2.6, which is the next major patch for Star Citizen. So it makes sense to get a live look at it during Citizen. For Star Citizen haters who say Star Marine will be nothing more than an FPS module for Star Citizen, they're wrong. Star Marine will help to flesh out and balance out the FPS mechanics in the Persistent Universe, bring in more players to Star Citizen, and most of all, it should be a lot of fun to play. Personally, I have so much fun playing the FPS portion of the Persistent Universe and have spent a lot of time doing so in its current state. Star Marine will bring another gameplay element to Star Citizen that we've all been waiting for. Prediction number two, no release date for Squadron 42. A lot of people are expecting a release date for Squadron 42 at CitizenCon. And while I'd love to say the same, I don't think we're going to get a release date. After the early history of deadlines in Star Citizen, I think CIG has been very wise to stop giving them, and I don't expect the trend to be changed here at CitizenCon. Don't get me wrong, I can't wait to play Squadron 42, and I would love to get a release date, I just don't think it's in the cards for this CitizenCon. For CIG, I think there's more downside than upside to giving a release date. Star Citizen has been riding high since the incredible Gamescon demo, and the hype and support is at an all-time high. I believe the majority of the Star Citizen community is okay with waiting for the game. They just don't want to be set up for disappointment with missed deadlines. And what better way for CIG not to miss a deadline by not giving one for Squadron 42 in the first place? Prediction number three, Squadron 42 will blow us all away. Gamescom was all about Star Citizen, and I believe this CitizenCon will be mostly focused on Squadron 42. Squadron 42 is a single player campaign set in the Star Citizen universe. For those who are unfamiliar, think of a modern day Wing Commander. Just like we were blown away with the Gamescom tech demo, I think we're going to get the same treatment for Squadron 42. I'm predicting we're going to see a live bustling carrier ship with pilots, ships, and commanders walking around the deck, along with a full mission loop. Much in the same way we saw the Gamescom demo go from ground to space and back again, I'd expect to see the same thing with Squadron 42, only in much higher detail, including an encounter with our first real look at the Vandal. CIG has shown a mastery for the dramatic in big events, and I don't think they will disappoint for Squadron 42. And just for good measure, I think we'll get a glimpse of Mark Camel's character in-game. The progress that CIG has made over the past years of development have been extremely impressive, but I also think they have been keeping a lid on some of their best work to save for a moment just like CitizenCon 2016. There's no better time to show off what they've been working on for the past year than this Sunday. I'm excited I get a chance to actually go to CitizenCon, and while I'm there, I'll be vlogging and documenting everything I see also on Snapchat. If you want to add me, there's a link in the description below. If you'd like to see my vlog from CitizenCon and more Star Citizen gameplay and opinion videos, subscribe to my channel. We release a new Star Citizen video every single day at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
What do you think about these three predictions? And what is the number one thing you want to see from CitizenCon? Leave your prediction in the comments below. I'm really interested in hearing what you're looking forward to. And if you want to watch CitizenCon live, we will be hosting the CIG feed on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash dangeesling starting at 6 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. So if you're looking for a place to chat and hang out during the CitizenCon live stream, that's a great place. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I truly appreciate it. Take care.